Well, the number of negative outcomes is still much too high when it comes to babies surviving before birth or less than a year after. That loss is something that impacts many Hoosiers, including an Indianapolis Colts player and his wife. WRTV's Nadja Woods takes us to their event, hoping to change the outcome. I'm a first time mom, so I don't know anything about what that means. So I wanted to just learn as much as I possibly could. Saving more babies by educating more mothers. That's the goal of this community baby shower led by an Indianapolis Colts player and his wife. We just want to give women and expecting parents all of the tools necessary um, to get to the end and so that they're not coming home empty handed. Something Indianapolis Colts player Ryan Kelly and his wife Emma had to go through themselves when their daughter was still born in 2021. Throughout the years of losing our daughter, our boys being born premature and then having another daughter, um, the, the outpouring of you know community support that we felt through the city, through the country, um, this has always been Emma and I's idea to give back to families who need the most. Indiana has some of the highest stillbirth rates nationwide with an average of 466 a year. It's why Tuesday's event partnered with resources like Count the Kicks. We educate and empower expectant parents to get to know their baby's normal movement patterns in the third trimester of pregnancy. The change in a baby's movements are an early warning flag. and It's an early warning system to get to know what's normal and to speak up and tell your doctor. Life-saving knowledge the Kellys wanted every family to walk away with Tuesday, in addition to their free baby essentials. We wanted to bring the community together to celebrate them, empower them, uplift them, and most importantly, educate them, um, especially in some of these, a lot of these situations where it's preventable. If I can learn as much as I possibly can, that is what makes me feel calm and safe. Nadja Woods, WRTV. All right, Nadja, thank you for that story. More than 350 families registered for tonight's event. All those families got free diapers and wipes. They also had a chance to win big items like diaper bags, strollers, and more.